Laurentine Laguerre is only hours into being a new mother. Her son, her fifth child, yet to be named, was born on Monday night at this mobile clinic at the IDP camp in Bangui Airport, which is more than 300 kilometers from her home in Bosangoa. I'm happy even though the situation is difficult here. We have no water to bathe and no clothes for the baby. And she's not the only one. 18-year-old Sambia Eludi gave birth three days ago. I'm just happy this is my first child. Both Sambia and Laurenti know they are lucky to be alive and even luckier to have delivered safely at the clinic run by Medicine San Frontiers. Their story is a reflection of the sad reality for many others in the conflict-ridden Central African Republic. On average, uh, seven or eight uh, births uh, per day. So it's quite a, a, a high number. Um, we try to give them the best care possible and we keep them for some days uh, here in, in our tent. Sadly, they have to go back to the difficult conditions at the camp that are already raising fears of an outbreak of diseases. At the clinic, there are long queues of people seeking medical attention, most of them for malaria, diarrhea, malnutrition and skin diseases. The camp in Bangui Airport is the largest. The conditions are desperate. There's not enough food, water and proper sanitation, many using anything and everything to survive and for shelter. While more than 30,000 people are spread out all around this airport in Bangui, and while the arrival of the French troops has somewhat stabilized the situation, these people are still not ready to go back home. There's no reason to go back. We have nothing, and those people are out there. Peace and reconciliation in the Central African Republic, it appears, is a distant dream. Jinkyo, CCTV, Bangui, in the Central African Republic.